<laughs> Howdy folks, hey, welcome to the garage. Uh, we, about a year ago or so, a little over a year, we did uh, a show that was involving a review on these graph blades, which they're a wood cutting blade, but they also have a metal cutting blade, and they attach to your angle grinder. They both turned out to be really, really good. and. For an, I, I sort of get nervous about using an angle grinder around this sort of thing, but it was like, they did great, and as long as you use the handle and the safety equipment you should have on, plus your safety guard stuff, you should be okay. Uh, Graf contacted me a while back and said, hey, we have some new stuff, some new product. I said, oh yeah. They sent me these new ones that are disc carving. So, and there's two types, so we're gonna get into this. Oh yeah, should be interesting, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting my angle grinder ready for this. Um, what they did was they sent me, you don't know, if you saw the show, you would remember I print, 3D printed an adopter ring because these blades are straight and flat. And they ran into my guard here when I tried to mount them on the uh, grinder. So, uh, Graf apparently took care of that this time around. So, yeah, let's take a look. And first one we'll get is the, I guess we'll get the flat one out first. Because that was, yeah. And the first thing that you're going to notice when you pull these out is that they are, these are metal, premium carbon steel. So I guess that's pretty good. They have a really wicked kind of a blade to them, I guess we'll call it. And you'll notice the raised uh, portion back here. So they should be able to go on the angle grinder without any problem, not like what we had last time. I stopped here for a minute because uh, Angle grinders, different manufacturers are going to have a little bit different here on the mounting and how the, how you're going to tighten or lock a blade up. They're not all exactly the same. Uh, we did, like I said last the other year when we were using these, I ran into a little problem and I ended up having to 3D print a little adopter washer so I could, you know, install these safely, continue to use the safety guard, you know, that kind of thing. And you sort of have to use some uh, uncommon sense, yeah like that word <laughs> to again uh, we're gonna mount these I'm gonna give you a close-up because I can't explain it. I guess like a really hard raspy file kind of a finish like they got these little teeth on here they're they're fairly you can sort of feel the blade on they're fairly sharp but let me close up on you yeah so there you go uh, hopefully we can get focused in here and you can sort of see what the blades look like they're they're like a big raspy file so once we get the blade on here uh, it fits this part real well but now the washer will not lock down to this so again what I'm gonna do is use my 3d printed adopter washer screwed on top and that way we can lock into this and we can hold on to the blade and hopefully keep it tight and there she be now uh, a couple problems again, like like I said, uh, I can probably, I might be able to adjust the guard. The guard's not interfering, which is good, but the guard is set, really, it's, technically it's too far back. It should be nicely in the center with this, and it's not. And again, this is, you know, it depends. This is a Porter cable and different gr angle grinders. You're going to have a little bit of a different action and reaction to each. This is what they call the uh, flat or uh, straight uh, carving uh, disc. So the flat or straight carving disc is just like it sounds. It's, it's like this idea. It's just a flat surface grinder right across. So if you were doing wood, I don't know, uh, well, if you want to do an angle or grind or something like that, let's just, I uh, need this bolted down somehow. So let's, uh, let's lock this up. All right, so I got this clamped down to my woodworking bench here, and this is, like I say, this is just a flat raspy file, so there's gonna be a fair amount of sawdust flying, but I just wanted to go across here with a flat, and we'll just see how, how it does. <laughs> that's pretty raunchy, but yeah, that took it down pretty, f wow, that's a good, almost a uh, good about, good one thirtieth. Of a, uh, now, if I wanted to put an edge on that or something and carve into something, I can do it. So it's really about carving. That's really what these discs are for. But I just wanted to check that flat one and just see how it would run right across that. And boy, did it ever. <laughs>
Okay. Wow. Yeah, to start wood carving, you should always take on a simple project, something like a, a very basic, you know, artistic face in a piece of lumber, something like that. Uh, but this type of blade will, as you can see, I mean, it just goes into the lumber. It just eats that lumber out of the way. So I have to admit, I'm very impressed. And uh, <clears throat> if I was a wood carver, this would be a great item, especially if you're doing something on a big scale. That would make life a whole lot easier. Yeah, so there's the uh, straight one that I was using. The other one that they sent me, let's see if I can get this out of here in a second. Hmm. Now the other one they have is the same idea with the raspy kind of file finish to it, but also, it also comes with this little washer, which you might need, to, again, depending on the type of angle grinder that you have, and you're gonna have to use some common sense. But you, I don't know if you can see that real well, but this is really, really nice, hard curved. And when you're carving, something like that might do the trick to get in there and you know gouge out the wood to you know the type of design or whatever that you're working with. I generally with wood carving, uh, these are pretty heavy tools, so this is more towards you know if you want to create a great big tiki head for your backyard or something, you might want a couple of these to you know do the project with because they're kind of like chainsaw, you know, they will tear some lumber out, but they are nice. And they're not very expensive, really. Uh, Graph has always been pretty good about quality and their price, so uh, these are the two different ones I've got right here right now. We've got both the uh, straight disc and, of course, the uh, the curved, uh, the, you know, or what they call it, flat and uh, curved disc. But uh, both of them will last a, probably last you a lifetime because as long as you're only doing lumber, <coughs> and you don't get into metal or something, or hit a nail, yeah, like me, you know, I, I can do that pretty quickly. Uh, these should last, stay sharp and last for a very, very long time, so you get a lot of use out of these. And, or if you have some piece of lumber that you just have to shave it down a little bit real quick, rather than sanding, this will save you, <laughs> this will save you a heck of a lot of time, because they really do chew that wood up pretty quick. What a pair of cool blades, wow. So I want to thank uh, Graf for sending these over. Uh, they will last, like I said, a long time, but they'll also, they're rated for rubber and plastic. So you could, you know, theoretically do either one, but uh, personally, I just think the wood carving is pretty amazing. But anywhere where you have to take a lot of wood down in a hurry, even, rather than sanding or something like that, if you need to really do something gougy or whatever, I think these things will do the trick for you. And they're not, they won't overheat is one of their features. Uh, also, they'll last, well, as they say here in the box, is they, you know, they will last you a long time, very versatile. The other thing that they do mention is that you can use them with angle grinders. There are other types of tooling that can be mounted on for use. Uh, personally, I have no idea what that would be. Uh, the angle grinders is the only thing I know about. That uh, These are rated, by the way, up to 13,000, I believe it was 13,500 RPM. So, yeah, there's, there's, they're pretty safe as far as high speed goes. You know, they theoretically shouldn't fly apart or anything. Boy, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. I will provide a link in the description below for each of these. And uh, I believe, I think they said there was a sale price involved with this, which I hope there is. Uh, I love it when I got a sale deal on a new tool like this where, you know, these new innovative type ideas and uh, if you have uh, ever used a chainsaw for carving, this might be uh, the way to you know get the finish up a little better. <laughs> I can't believe how fast that uh, man! It just takes that wood out of the way. If you're into or want to start carving, even I would say get a scrap piece of two by four like I did and try to cut yourself a moe or something, <laughs> one of the moe, you know, from uh, Easter Island or something, <laughs> just for starters, just to get started in carving because. Wood carving is, is, is an art, but you can, theoretically, uh, you can learn it. Anybody can learn it, theoretically, yeah. And uh, it'll never happen for me, but, you know, it'll happen for somebody else. So, anyway, we'll have a great des uh, description on that. Uh, Graph was nice enough. They sent me over an extra set of the curve and the flat. So, we'll be giving those away in the near future on another show. Because right now, we're still uh, giving away this. Uh, next week, we're going to be drawing for a viewer. And we'll find who, who's getting this uh, brand new uh, bench vise. And this is, this was really, it's a nice bench vise. I like the price and I like the features on it. So it's actually a really good one. It's from Gorner. Gorner, I have trouble with that name, but uh, it's from them. And again, I'll provide a link in the description where this is at. But uh, we have the contest. If you check back the episode 
right before this one, uh, you will find all the details you need to get in on that contest to take a chance and see if you can win that bench vice from us. We'll be shipping it out to a viewer. Um, uh, you don't even have to be a subscriber. Yeah, just one entry per household, of course. Uh, the people at Graph make quite a few of these different uh, types of discs like these tools. And they've always been good about quality and price, and I think they've come through with another uh, very interesting, very in a, you know innovative uh, idea here. I do like them. Uh, just the angle grinder problem of mounting, that is something that each and every one of us, depending on what type of angle grinder you have, you may have to be careful and think it out and be very safe with these things because, you know, it, it, they could hurt you. Oh man, this has been just a warm day in southern Texas again. We've been under a heat wave for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And uh, boy, I'm, I'm about done with this today. So uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. And please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell if you want to get on the contest and giveaways because we will be giving these away in the near future. And hopefully Monday, uh, it's a holiday weekend, but Monday I think we're going to have something. We have new stuff in, lots of cool new stuff and more stuff coming in to uh, talk about and show you. So should be cool. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>